Minutes after the hour right now, we are wrapping up our series on summertime creepy critters. All week news 2's Macy McLeod has introduced us to the scariest animals that come out with the warmer weather. We're learning more about the misconceptions surrounding these creatures, why they're valuable to us here in the low country and how to stay away from them. Macy, what's the last one on our list? Well, so far we've looked at snakes, jellyfish, alligators and bats. But the scary animal most people associate specifically with the summertime is sharks. A lot of times people don't even realize it, but they're probably out there swimming around with sharks and those sharks are leaving them alone and just swimming off too. If sharks are so close by in the water, why don't we hear about more shark bites? One reason is humans are not on their menu. They're not out there looking to try to get us or try to bite us at all. Another reason is sharks don't eat very frequently. A lot of people think that they're just constantly out there feeding, um, and that's not the case. Here at the aquarium, we actually feed our sharks only three times a week, um, and that's actually more than they would eat in the wild. Um, in the wild, they're only going to really eat about once every seven to ten days, so they're not constantly out there hungry machines always looking for that next bite. The best way to avoid these sharks is by staying away from their food source. If you see bait fish jumping out of the water, that's a, a good chance that there might be something going after them. And then, of course, if there's areas where people are fishing a lot, that's not a good place to swim um, because if fish are in the water and you get that blood from fish in the water, then it's very possible that sharks could be around too. So it's really just about knowing your surroundings and, and keeping yourself safe. And again, the aquarium says education is really the key. If you are scared of one of these animals, go learn more about it, and it can help you alleviate that fear, and it also helps you just figure out how to avoid them if you are really scared, just to know more about them Still and their not tendencies. Going near the snake. I think of all the stories, <laughs> it helped me with the misconceptions about the bats. Mm -hmm. I think that's the one really that there's mm -hmm. the most misconceptions about mm -hmm. was the bats. And if anyone wants to check out the series we've had all week, it is online at countontwo.com. Right, great job, Good thank stuff. you, Macy. Thanks, Macy.